Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I am a fourth year teacher moving to second grade and we are setting up my classroom. This is I think day nine and this is gonna be an important one because we have so much stuff in the classroom that needs to get organized and I printed, laminated, and cut almost all of my classroom decor slash bulletin board things. There were a couple days last week that I came in and just brought things in. So I didn't vlog those because it was boring. Um, so I literally just brought in loads of stuff and then left. I didn't organize it all. I didn't put things away. I didn't decorate. So that's why I didn't vlog it. So if you were here for the last video, um, none of this was here. And now it's all here and I have to find a home for it. But before I do that, I think I'm going to start to put up some decor because I'm just too excited. Okay, so if you were here in one of my previous vlogs, I started to put up my birthday board and then I quickly was like not a fan of my popsicles that I used last year. They're just looking a little grimy. And I had found these that were already printed from my decor bundle from last year. And I was like, oh shoot, like I'll just laminate and cut these to give it a little bit of a fresh look. So we're gonna use both sides of this cabinet to display this. And I'm gonna leave some space underneath each one because I have little blue strips that I'm going to use my label maker and then write their names and their birthdays on next to it. All right, that is all done. So now we can move on to the next one. I think I'm going to do my reading and my math wall over here. Okay, don't mind the glare. I have that um, spray paint, that matte spray paint that you can use. And I think honestly, I should have just done it before I put them all up, but I might just give it a good little spray eventually. Um, I don't know where my penny went. I printed them all out last night and now it's not there. So I've got to reprint that or find it at home, but that's the only thing that's missing. We've got place value, money, and then addition, subtraction, word problem words. These were the most important things I could find in the second grade standards, it seemed. So anything else, obviously I can add or exchange, but I had the vibe that like time, place value, and money were the most important things in second grade, as well as like reinforcing addition and subtraction. Um, and then over here for reading, it's pretty bare right now, but I basically stole this idea from another teacher on Instagram. I told my stories that I was looking for, you know, bulletin board ideas for wonders, which is the curriculum we're using and I'm new to it. And she basically had a reading board set up where she included the weekly concept, essential question, genre, comprehension skill, vocab strategies and vocab words underneath. And she used, um, I think she used maybe binder sleeves, but I would probably use the dry erase sleeves so that I can just put things in and take things out or I'm just going to cut and laminate things and or you know print and laminate things and put them underneath and then swap them out so stay tuned for what's going to go under there and how but that's the general setup these things are so glary right now I really need to spray them so I need to remember to bring that when I come back also, just to show you guys, this is what I cut and laminated to use for the birthday bulletin board. So I will find out their birthdays, put their names and their birth date, like their specific day, like if their birthday is August 15th, <laughs> that's my birthday, um, then I would put Sarah 15, and that would show me that her birthday is August 15th, and I'm going to use my label maker to put the names on so that I can reuse these and just strip off the label at the end of the year. So that's why I left space underneath, and this is what they're going to look like. I also cut out their numbers for their book boxes, but I can't find my hot glue gun right now and I kind of want to hot glue them. Last year, they just kept falling off and if you can tell, some of my book boxes have that little tab in the front where I could just slip in the number, but that didn't really work as a long-term plan, so I kind of want to hot glue them on, but I can't find my hot glue gun, so we'll do that later. I also have everything I need right now for my bulletin board outside of my classroom in terms of like, I have my header for it, I have my bulletin board paper, and I have my border, but summer school is going on for like another hour, so I'm gonna wait till everybody leaves so that I'm not being watched. I also can't find my magnetic rod and my hole punch and my binder rings, which is what I need to set up my flip calendar. 
the one that you put on the magnet rod. So I think that's the universe telling me that I need to seriously organize my stuff because I can't get any more of my decor projects done without organizing. So here we go. All right, <laughs> I think I got here at 10 and it is now 1.15. I'm taking a break for lunch and then I'm gonna probably stay another like two hours. But I wanted to show you all what I did so far because we're making huge gains. All right, so the biggest accomplishments is one, I put my flexible seating out. It had just been sort of hiding underneath there for a while because I was like so on the fence if I should use it or not, but I've decided I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna keep buckets at one table and wobble stools at another table. And then I'm just gonna rotate the kids through the different seats so that nobody's upset that those two have flexible seating and these three don't. Um, I've emptied out a lot of bins that I use to sort of store things from my classroom. You can see all underneath here. All of those bins are now empty and I'm probably gonna keep them under there though because they're a good height for there and just keep like my materials or something. I'm not sure yet. Emptied all of these, emptied a lot of my crates and then did some organizing. Basically, this big resource cabinet is going to be my materials. So like extra math things like place value blocks, geo boards, a lot of different reading and literacy games, my own personal laminator, all my math games from first grade, my prize bin, more math materials. So this is all stuff that if I need anything, it's coming out of this cabinet. And then over here is where I've started to put any sort of like extra supplies. So we've got notebooks, we've got tissues, we've got highlighters, expo markers, tape, any sort of student materials that they might need brown paper bags, Ziploc bags, literally everything that's like materials that are replaceable and replenishable, that's all in here. Everything science curriculum related, I put in here because it's a disaster. And then this is all supplies that are bagged for right now because they're gonna go in drawers. But I haven't figured out yet if I'm even gonna do drawers like I normally have or if I'm going to um, switch up that system. All of this was already in there. My lovely friend Kelsey organized it for me a couple weeks ago. This is all classroom decor. You already saw the finished boards here. Okay, so this is another change. I got three more of these. So now all of my like STEM slash building materials, blocks, Legos, Lincoln logs, planks, magnet tiles for recess or STEM bins are all in the white containers, which are from Target and I'm obsessed with them but I don't have anything to put them on. They were the first three that I had were resting on top of this, but they don't fit underneath here. So now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. And I'm also not sure how to like, I really don't like that they're just on the ground over here, but at the end of the day, like if it's, if it works, it's whatever. And then the other things that can really go on bins like puzzles, Jenga, Connect Four, Magnet Dolls, all those things are still on that recess cart. I'm actually gonna probably flip it because that fidget, <laughs> sticker is on the front and it's not my fidget cart anymore. So I'm going to quick break for lunch and then I think we're going to do the bulletin board outside because summer school is now done for the day. Here's my bulletin board. So we took a bit of a long lunch break, but to be fair, I responded to some emails. I shot some Instagram and TikTok content and I also talked to my assistant principal and my principal. Um, they told me that the desk that's in my room that I keep thinking is going upstairs to the new teacher's room, or it's technically her desk from last year, but she's moving rooms. All the stuff in there was hers, and they told me that the desk is going to stay and that she needed to clear out the stuff in the um, drawers, and I just didn't feel like waiting for that. So I asked them to ask her if it would be okay if I took everything out and put it nicely in like piles upstairs, and she said yes. So. I just spent some time emptying out her desk that's now mine. Um, I'm not gonna put my stuff in the desk yet because I just don't have the energy since it's like almost three o'clock, but I can do that next time. Also, I'm hoping by the time that this video goes live, this merch will be live. Um, it's my line that Shop Sweet Life Designs put out. Um, the money's not coming towards me. I'm not selling it. I simply partnered with Sweet Life Designs to create this um, design. 
and share it with other teachers. If you can't read it, it says teachers who love Jesus. There is a t-shirt option that I'm wearing. There is a crew neck, there is a hoodie, there's a notebook, I think a mug and a sticker. So if this is your like aesthetic and this is you, you love Jesus and you're a teacher, um, then I highly recommend heading on over to their shop. Um, I will tag their Instagram down below so that you can find their store because it's linked in their Instagram. But yeah, I am so obsessed. Um, I think it's so cute. I obviously won't be wearing it during the school year when the kids are here because I would never want to push my personal beliefs on anybody, but I love it for just classroom setup and hopefully everybody else will wanna buy it too. Okay, so I was going to go do the bulletin board outside of my classroom, but unfortunately my phone is at 10%. I forgot my charger. So we're gonna have to stop here for today, but I do plan to come back probably tomorrow afternoon. I have a dress, wedding dress, alteration appointment at like 10.30. So I was gonna come back in the afternoon and try and put the rest of this away. This is, I condense it. This is the last table of stuff that needs to get sorted and put either into a closet or behind my teacher table. All of these I was able to empty, which is so exciting. These are old books that I don't want anymore that my friend's gonna look through. Everything over here for the most part in these crates is desk stuff that I need to put in or on my desk now that I know it's mine. These are extra chairs that I took from these now flexible seating pods. And then a lot of this over here is decor or extra storage that I'm not sure where to put or how to use. This was my math rolly cart. And it's the only one that's this color. The other ones are either clear or rainbow. So I might actually get rid of this one and find a way to condense and put all of this math stuff in a cabinet and then get rid of this one because it doesn't match anyway and I don't think I have any more space for any more rolly carts. I mean, I have one, two, three, that one's technically a rolly cart, four, five, I guess that's it. But still, a lot of carts for sure. So might try and empty this one out next time I come and I need to hang up a lot of my artwork and my posters and my canvas and things like that but I also don't want to put them up until I know for sure that this is going to be my calming corner. I think I've mentioned it before but I don't love this spot for it because it's very like tucked away and while that's nice in some retrospect I won't be able to see them from my desk over here but I am waiting to hear if this corner is going to be used or not for another teacher. They're trying to hire somebody, so I'm keeping this sort of empty for now um, with the hope that I can maybe move my calming corner over here if nobody gets hired, but TBD on that. I also need to figure out what I'm going to use all of these for now that I don't need them for um, student storage. I still have one more here to go through that I just didn't get to. This is only part one though, so I'll be back with part two in a little bit. All right, y'all, I'm back again. It's Tuesday. I got here like almost an hour ago, but I came in and then immediately met a teacher I'm gonna be working with this year, who's also a second grade teacher. And then I just grabbed a dolly to go unload my car. And I realized that parent pickup from summer school is still going on, so I'm gonna wait for that. And before I go get the stuff from my car and bring it up, I'm going to go do the bulletin board outside of my classroom. So let's go do that. myself because not only did I not save enough space for the R and the K, but I forgot the T. So we're going to redo that. Okay, here's the final product. I could not get the letters to fit no matter how hard I tried up here. So they're a little crammed, but isn't she cute? Okay, now we're going to go downstairs and get everything from my car because everybody's gone. And then we'll bring it upstairs, break for lunch, and then I think I'm going to set up my desk. All right, that was my last load for the day. I don't know if I already said it, guys, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow is going to be my last 
drop off. I'm so excited. All right, y'all, it is like 1.30. I just stopped for lunch. Everything's out of my car. Now I'm gonna set up my desk area because that's what a lot of like this stuff is that's out on the table still. And once I have my desk set up, I think I'll feel a little bit better. All right, y'all, it is three o'clock, so I'm heading out for the day. I will be back tomorrow because I have one more load and I just don't wanna put that off. I really want to make sure that I get everything in this week. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but my friend is coming on Friday to move in all of her stuff into first grade. So I promised to help her move in all of her stuff. So my hope is to be done between tomorrow and Thursday to kind of be like done with the actual setup of it. Um, obviously once school starts is when I'll start to label things and really put the finishing touches, but I just want to have everything put away because I'll show you what it looks like right now. It's still not done, but we did make progress. First and foremost, um, so this used to hold my math stuff, but then I liked this cart that they provided us better. It's way sturdier. So now I'm almost contemplating next time bringing a little screwdriver and taking out the top row and the third row and maybe using this for my indoor recess stuff. Stay tuned, that's a work in progress slash like hypothetical. Um, I did empty out some more bins because I started to put together my table over here um, and I started to fill things in underneath here. I'm not sure how often students are gonna use clipboards since they have desks. So I put clipboards under here, whiteboards under here, rulers under here, lap desks. And then I started to put out other things. I don't know what this is gonna be used for yet. I'm thinking maybe white paper for the kids or lined paper, things like that that they want to use during the day. I'm gonna have a tray here for their finished work and a tray here for their folders in the morning. Um, that clock still needs to be hung up. And then I put out a little bit of decor here because all of it does not fit on my desk. I also tried to like mix in some decor up here, again, that I didn't wanna part with, but also wanted to keep um, not on my desk, so it's not super crowded. I did put everything on top of my desk. It still looks crazy because this stuff I don't need and it's going to another room. But I put out my teacher toolbox. I think I'm gonna get some new labels for them. I put out all of this desk stuff and I filled my desk. It's not the most organized, but everything that was in those bins from my desk is now inside. I filled this one too. This is just like random odds and ends. I'm not really utilizing those two drawers because I ended up putting this here. That's something else I forgot to mention, but this isn't empty yet. However, I'm going to use this and this and the stuff on top, as well as these two for teacher storage, because I still just have so many things. Um, where is everything? I still just have so many things over here that I used to keep behind my desk that now I can't. So I wanna have some storage and if I don't end up needing it, it's fine. This I decided is going to be used for the teacher table and this is still gonna be used for the teacher table. I'm still inclined to get rid of that. Um, what else? Oh, I did forget to tell you guys, I already brought it downstairs, but I did get rid of my microwave and my fridge. Um, I've never had a mini fridge and a microwave in my classroom before, so I feel like I don't need it. It was right here, and then the desk was not flush to the wall, so like I had to have the spot for me to sit out here because that's where the microwave and the fridge were, but now I want it flush to the wall, which meant that I couldn't have my chair here because of that. So I was like, you know what, just part with it, Sarah. Just because they provide it doesn't mean you need it. I feel like that's a very big point to make while you're setting up your closet. Just because they have the furniture or the things for you doesn't mean you do need it. Um, I still don't know where to put all these chairs because I have those two spots set up for flexible seating. A lot of this is books that just need to get moved up there, so maybe I'll do that really quick. Okay, random, but this little black strip over here was covered by this, which I think is like a shelf. I have no idea where it would even hang if I had somebody put it up. I'm thinking if anything, it could go over there or above their lockers, but whatever. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I took it off and I decided to put some stuff back here. I'm also using a sort of like paper organizer to hold all of my 
binders. Again, I don't even know how many of these things I'll actually use this year because of having a different grade level and different curriculum, but whatever. Now it has a place. Um, these still need to be filled. Oops. I'm just so proud of myself, guys. Like, I have really condensed this. Like, all I just went and put a lot of the books up on top, which is where I used to keep them in my last classroom anyway. I took everything off of all of these pods. The only thing still on there is these books, which I'm letting my friend go through before I donate them. And then these are empty. I think I'm gonna start taking them home because I just don't think I need them here. They were great for packing up my previous classroom and then bringing things over, but these are too big to fit in the resource cabinets. And I would like to, well, it's tough because I would like to put books in them and then keep them up here because you could stack it, but I just don't know then what I would use these for. And I feel like, unfortunately, I can't really repurpose these at home, but I can totally repurpose these. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start by taking home like these three big ones and then I'll keep these little ones here because I think I have six of those and I could totally put three on each side. We'll see. I'm just like totally obsessed with how everything is coming out though. I was really stuck for a while guys. And now that I have like 95% of my classroom stuff in here, I feel 1000% better. Um, goals for next time is to hopefully have printed out some, if not all of my library labels. I found the ones I wanna use. Unfortunately, I ran out of printer ink, so I couldn't print out all of them, but at least maybe start that and also find some more bins for the ones that don't have bins yet because like I said, I am now organizing my library by genre and theme or author rather than level. So I do need some more bins than I had before. Um, also goal is to set up my reading area because everything that's still in boxes, like these two things, those are all like reading small group supplies. So hoping to consolidate that. My biggest issue still is storage. Like I still have so many crates, so many of these snappable storages from Amazon, so many stinking paper tray holders, this whole cart that's full still that needs to be sorted. These, the little crates, the book boxes. I just have so many storage bins, little um, tin cans, all of those down here. I just have so many different sort of bins and boxes. I have no idea what to do with them. Before we go though, I'm just gonna do one final pan so you can get some idea of where we're at. This is way too over full right now. <laughs> All right, that concludes days nine and 10. Hopefully Wednesday and Thursday will be 11 and 12 and then that will be a complete two and a half weeks of classroom setup. Honestly, not bad for completely uprooting your life, changing schools and grade levels. I know that feels like a lot of classroom setup days, but I'm proud of myself. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. I'm sure I asked y'all's opinions and questions during this video like I always do. So please leave some feedback down below. Um, I really do appreciate and I do read those and I do try and respond to the best of my ability. So thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Make sure you're following on Instagram and TikTok and I'll talk to you guys soon.